Hello everybody, this is 100 Visions Guy, and what I want to talk to you about is getting Window Builder onto your Eclipse. And I just kind of want to show you from the very beginning. Now I first found this by just doing a Google search like Java GUI Builder Eclipse Mars, which is the version I have. I click on here, I find the link. Now a lot of times if you're looking for something, some kind of project, and um, you want to add it, there's usually a plugin for Eclipse. So you Google it, you make sure Eclipse is in there. And here's Window Builder. Uh, we've got little update notices. And if you click Downloads, what you will see is some kind of an update site. So on here are the different versions of Eclipse where I'm using Mars. So I want to get this update site link. So I'm just going to copy the link address. I'm going to go into Eclipse. And I'm going to click on Help, Install New Software. Make sure you catch that. It's under Help, Install New Software. And then we're going to add a site. So we're just going to click here. I'm going to paste the link. And we'll call it uh, Window Builder. I'm going to click OK. It's going to say Pending, which is a good sign. And we have Swing Designer, SWT Designer, and Windows Builder Engine, which is required. We're going to check them all. And we're just going to go ahead and click Next. And we've got uh, install review, so we can review items that need to be installed. So I can click on here, click next. I want to accept the terms, and I usually do it without reading. One of these days, I should read these. You probably should too, because this is what you're agreeing to, whether you like it or not. Okay, so now we install the software. We started at 8.16. I'll come back when it's done installing. Actually, I'll just interrupt and just note it's 7.81 megs. Before you get too excited and start linking everything, you might want to read what it says down here. So doing the update site link using that link um, or the zip version of it, wherever that is, zipped, here it is. These two versions is for the full release. And uh, if you uh, are using a, a one of the other ones, you're going to want to do the update site. Um, you're going to want to do the integration version. So if it doesn't work, you might need to come back and do that. So it says we need the full S, um, Eclipse SDK, including JDT and PDE. So you probably do want to double check to make sure you got that. All right, well, I'm still downloading. It's 8.19, so I must have a slow connection. Um, there we go. Now we're almost there. And we'll restart Eclipse, see our changes. And let's explore. Go back into your workspace. And we're there. OK, once that's all loaded, let's go ahead and create a new uh, Java package. So we're going to do a new project, Java project. And uh, we'll call this window builder test. That's what we're doing. And we're just going to go ahead and click Finish. Then what we want to do is in the SRC, we want to create a new package. Now, this is a lot of times when uh, software is built together. And um, on this one, you want to do something along the names of whatever your website title might be or whatever. It could be your username, .com, or whatever. Of course, I'm 100 Visions guy. So I'm going to put on here 100visions.com. Hold on, before I do that, I need to go back a step. Uh, I should do whatever. We'll just call this test.100visions.com. And I'm going to click Finish. OK, once we have it on here, we have a new window up here. Create new visual classes. So what you can do here is you can make Swing. You got JFrame, JPanel, Dialog, Applet, etc. We have the SWT. JFET. So we got a bunch of these different types of forms, uh, form builders that we can use. Okay, for our first project, what we will do is we'll use a swing JFrame or JPanel. We'll do the JFrame. We'll call it Window Builder Test Frame. Click Finish. Naming, just name something that makes sense with what we're doing. We're just testing this out. Uh, right away, what we see here is, um, and let's just expand this out. This is the code that 
uh, create the J frame right here. And uh, so there's some information that's done here. And um, the reason why I want you to do one of these window builders is because now you have a design tab. So if we click on here, it'll take a little bit, but once it's done, it's actually gonna open up a design window. And so it just takes a little bit. Once it's done, here we go. So there's our new GUI window. It's a J-frame. And as you can see, we have our palette of tools that we can add. Some of these are for designing layouts, under layouts, containers to hold items in. A lot of times you need containers. We have components. These are all the form elements that you might have, like text fields, so you can enter in information. Label just puts text on the screen. And so what our next set of videos are going to be about is building out apps using the swing structure. But at this point, um, if you got this far and everything's showing, you're good to go. And uh, so in later videos, we'll start talking about how we can build these out.